Ed Delahanty, Jimmy Rollins, Grover Cleveland Alexander, Cole Hamels, Mike Schmidt, Greg Lisinski, Ryan Howard, Larry Boa, Carlos Ruiz, Chuck Klein, Jay Sutley. The men whose names filled lineup cards in dugouts in Philadelphia for the past century will soon be on display for all generations to enjoy. If you like baseball, you will love this mural. To actually do a, a large baseball mural of the Phillies history on a large scale a mural like this in Center City is like, uh, you know, an absolute, you know, dream. This project started um, after the World Series and the Phillies won, which was so wonderful. Um, I called Dave Montgomery and I said, oh, this is so exciting. I think we should do a mural. And he was like, I was just about to call you. They really love the idea that it wouldn't just be a mural, but it would be a, a community-driven project where we had citizens from across the city and the region um, participate in the painting of the mural. Phillies fans can thank the Mural Arts Program that has just finished its latest creation, a shrine to the 132-year history of the Phils on 24th and Walnut, and you won't be able to miss it. We wanted, quite frankly, a large canvas because we had a big story to tell. It's really a citywide mural. It's not like the Phillies fans are only in South Philly by the stadium or only in one neighborhood. They're all the neighborhoods. So we thought if it's in somewhere central where all fans that you know pass through the city or, or associated with the city can see that that, made, that would make sense. The mural arts program has constructed more than 4,000 murals across Philadelphia depicting the rich culture within the city. But its attitude towards sports and the Phillies might be at the top. There's something about Philadelphia and sports that's special. It's a scrappy town, it's an opinionated place, it's a place with great character. So I think what this project captures is part of the heart and soul of our great city. We all grew up listening to baseball or watching baseball. It's like a really accessible sport. And I think people's lives are kind of marked by, by some of these things. They'll be like, oh, I remember where I was when that championship happened or when that defeat happened. It kind of unites people to realize, oh, we all shared this together. We have our own lives, we have all our own celebration, but we also have this, these things that we can celebrate as a, as a community together. In a sense, murals are a way of holding up a mirror to people throughout our city and saying that your life counts that you have meaning, that what you say, who you are, matters. Whether you watch Roberts or Rollins or both, anyone who comes to see this mural will be able to connect to it. And next weekend, Phillies fans from any decade will be able to relive their favorite moments when it's revealed. August 1st is to be a big, big celebration. I'm not sure exactly what's all in store. I'm in charge of the mural. But I think it's just going to be a quintessential Philadelphia moment uh, where we can celebrate all that's really great about our city and really inspire people to think about the team. It'll be a great party, I think, right here on the Walnut Street Bridge, so people should come out and join us and, and celebrate.